What were we talking about? Oh! Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're doing yet another wig review. This wig was sent to me kindly by Ebony Line. And we're going to be doing the Barbie Boss Glueless Lace Wig in the style Everly. I'm making sure. Yes, I got Miss Everly right here. Um, Everly, I got her in a 1B. If you guys want to know like, the style number stuff, it's MLF411 Everly. So... But, of course, everything will be linked down below. But this is another HD lace unit wig. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, pop her out. 360 perimeter, um, 13 by 4 lace front parting space. And, of course, pre-plucked. So, this is her fresh out of the bag, so you guys, or box, you guys can get a feel of how she's looking. She's pretty long. Um, it never says on here if... You know the length on these units but we're gonna go ahead and try to slay her not try we are um so yeah it comes with baby hairs what she look like at the pack these really 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 long baby hairs all right everly also um before i jump ahead when i take these little clips out of her i'm gonna show you guys the inside if you guys are not too familiar with these hd lace synthetic wigs but you're gonna get all this parting space up here which is great for doing your own thing as well as the combs and of course like always the elastic adjustable band in the back which is what makes these units um more big head friendly than a lot of other ones because you're also customizing it to the fit of your head by not just using the old school typical band did i say the word old school yeah using this um typical adjustable strap but you have like the real adjustable strap um like i said in my last video i'm not really a fan of these i feel like they move a lot and i have seen a lot of people here on youtube kind of cut it and tie it so that's totally up to you um i just move it and then just you know hope for the best but yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into styling all right you guys so we're kicking off this wig a little bit different than i normally do i do this from time to time but i want to go ahead and move these long bang baby hairs back i know they give them to us we got a lot of room to work with but if you move them back you'll notice there's a flawless hairline underneath it so taking that hot comb i'm gonna go ahead and push these baby hairs back and out of the way and you guys can do this if you don't have a hot comb with a curl and iron and a regular comb but look at the hairline you guys it looks really good it is one of the best pre-plucked hairlines on a synthetic unit that I um, come across. So, yeah, it's always not a bad idea to start on a blank canvas. Don't be afraid. Next, I'm just going to go in with my face powder. You guys always want to take a powder if you do this that matches your skin complexion. And I'm just going ahead and dusting the edges on the wig and the part that I thought I was going to use. And adjustable strap is adjusted. Putting that wig on, you guys notice there's some lace in the back. Because remember, this is a 360 wig, which is supposed to be good for updos. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pop this wig on. And I'm going to clip the hair up and out of the way so that I can begin to cut the lace off. Now, if you guys are noticing, you guys can see my edges through this lace. And that's because you guys will find throughout this video that the hairline on this wig does not come all the way to the front. Glueless, right? But anyway, I'm noticing also my part is very off center. So I'm just going to go ahead and repart my center part, but not forgetting to go back in with the Holy Girl hot comb because we want to make sure that we're laying this wig down, especially if you're doing any type of parting space. You always want to go back in with some hotting, hotting, hot tool reinforcement to kind of lay the part as so. So going ahead and laying that down and also moving those hairs that came down the front back up and out the way because we finna cut the lace off and because the hairline is flawless why don't we keep looking at it so i like to cut my lace off in sections little square sections to be exact i just find that it's easier and i can get a more precise cut so to each his own but i like to do it this way so i can get very close to the hairline and something about just having this long strip of lace is just i don't know i don't like it so i'm gonna go ahead and get as close as i can to the hairline and as i'm cutting you guys will see that Again, my hair is starting to peek through. This hairline does not lay all the way to the front. Did I say that already? Um, but yeah, it's just going to go ahead and start to peek through. And you'll see as we go on. Um, but we will make it work. 
Also, I'm not cutting off the lace in the back. I'm just going to leave that on because I'm not going to attempt to do any updo styling, but feel free to leave it on if you don't plan on doing that or cut it off. Personal preference once again. All right, so we made a line of demarcation, so we're going to go back in with that face powder to kind of blend out the hairline, blend out the edges, um, just to kind of make it look a little bit more seamless and flawless and natural. And again, having to go back in and dust that part. Now, I am going to go back in with a smaller brush on camera, so don't be alarmed. Baby hairs, I'm going ahead and creating my own baby hairs. I like to carve out a small section and then start to kind of weave and part off the smaller section to make it even smaller so that the baby hairs lay more natural and they're more like flawless and thin. Um, I also like to go right above like the arch of the eyebrow on the temple of the head to kind of create the, the baby hairs because I just find it again it looks a little bit more natural and realistic and it just doesn't look too thick. Nobody wants the thick baby hairs which is why we started on the blank canvas in the first place. I laid those baby hairs with the black Gatsby glue and you guys are seeing again those edges are not coming all the way down but we're going to work with what we got. I'm also noticing that the hairline in the front, the edges of the wig are not laying flat. So again, going in with that black got to be glue and I'm just going to press like so and lay that down. So this is the only section of the wig that's actually glued to my head. All right, you guys, so the install is pretty much done because everything I'm doing, I'm just actually like doing some like tweaks here and there as I like stare at myself in the mirror or the computer monitor. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be our finished look. I attempted to do that look where you just have like the little suit baby hairs and then the rest of the hair is kind of like pushed back. Um, but I feel like I might need a couple baby hairs right here in the front only because I feel like the attention is on my forehead. But not even that when you have a lace that kind of is like this one where it's like a sore thumb sometimes. If you have a little added baby hairs, you kind of can cover that up. So I'll probably go in and fix that but for now let's talk about all the specs so i mentioned everything to you guys as far as the 360 lace which gives you up style capability 13 by 4 lace parting space pre-plugged hairline baby hairs adjustable strap and then the also has the um regular strap in the back now when i see that this wig says 360 lace for up style capability and you're able to you know do your updos by half up half downs I mm, I don't really know if that's necessarily true with this unit for me. Um, reason I say this is because how is it glueless when the wig is up here? You know, on both sides. So if I wanted to have the option, I feel like a Dumbo. If I wanted to have the option of you know putting my hair in an updo, I would have to glue this wig down. Um, I felt like when I put this wig on all the smallest settings, so I adjusted the adjustable strap as far as I could. The clips um, that I hook on to make the wig tighter, I adjusted those to small ones. Actually, right now they are crisscrossed. I still find that I have a little bit of room in this wig. Like it kind of seems on the like big head friendly side to the max. So now it, to me, it's not satisfying people with smaller heads. So yeah, I didn't want to adjust it again because then I would just have like this probably major headache. But I just don't feel like I would be able to wear this in an updo style without gluing it down. So that's just a big downfall for me. Um, and I've tried like pulling it forward as far as I could. Um, but again, I have to just glue it down. It just is what it is. Um, but to wear it in this style, I feel like it's okay because no one can see that it's not glued down. And a lot of times, this is just the best way, especially if you're a beginner glue down the front and keep it moving. Um, I love the texture on this wig. It is a light yakky to me. I like that it has like a minimal shine so it doesn't really look like straight out the pack but it does give you like I just got my hair done vibes. So I like that. I feel like this curl is like a wine curl or like a loose beach curl like I like it. Also it doesn't mention it here on the stock card anywhere um, but the wig does have some layers in it, which I feel like layers on a curly wig do it so much justice because it doesn't make the wig look heavy and it actually frames your face just a little bit. So it just gives it like the added, like, you know, mm. um, so yeah, I really just do like that part of the wig. Um, the little added, what were we talking about? Oh, the added, um, the layering. I really do like that. And also because you can wear it in the updo style, sometimes if you put the hair up, um, the layers just give it like a more gradual effect as if it were like natural hair. So 
I do think that that is a plus. Um, as far as these wigs go, you guys know everybody has like the love-hate relationship with the Bye Boss wig because you do have to go in and do extra work. However, I'm starting to feel like these wigs may be beginner friendly only because it gives a beginner so much room to kind of, I'm not going to say play around, but create the style that you would want to see and create the style you want to wear. And it's more versatile that someone who is a beginner, they can kind of, you know, flip the hair over, do this, do that. Whereas a wig that doesn't necessarily have the capabilities of you doing all that, you know, free parting space, it doesn't really, it's not really necessarily beginner friendly. Um, it's just easy to be honest. So I feel like this wig is becoming beginner friendly because a beginner is someone who actually needs to learn and I feel like a wig that gives you free parting space helps you learn better. So the only thing you really would have to do honestly is get you some powder. You ain't got to use Fenty but just get a powder that matches your skin complexion and then of course dust the part to your leisure and I just went ahead and as you guys saw I just did the front here and then I ended up going in um, once I actually found the middle of my head and having to repart and just dust that parting space as well so yeah I know you guys could probably clock my lace a little bit once you kind of push these long baby hairs out of the way you guys again can see that the pre-plugged hairline is pretty good like it looks very very natural and it is replicated very well which I didn't actually realize that until I moved the baby hairs out the way that oh the hairline is actually pretty good so once you get those thick baby hairs out the way you can actually see that there is a perfect hairline underneath here and if you go in with a light parting you can just create like really minimal baby hairs where you can still actually see the parting space which is why I mean the pre-plugged hairline which is why I opted to do it this way um but yeah overall I would say I really do like this wig I haven't got any tangling I've ran my head through this wig many of times and haven't got much tangling um shedding I've gotten a little bit of shedding but I feel like that's normal when you cut the lace off for the first time um you're gonna get some shedding because that's just really all the hairs that you just chopped off so yeah also let me stand up so you guys can see the length um, she stops here. Yeah, the back she stops about there too. So this is going to be the length on this unit. This is like what, 22 inches, give or take. I'm 5'5". Five five. I feel like this is like a 22 inch, 22 inch unit. Um, they never say. I don't know why they never say. They probably should put that on here so we could just know, just to know. Um, but yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, join the gang, join the fam, and. Press the bell because you won't know I'm posting if you're not connected. Okay? Alright, I will see you guys in my next video.